Just got a new snapshot of how things may stand among Virginia voters. A new poll was released this morning. Caroline Coburn is live with an update for us. Caroline. Well, Robin Reba, three tied races. That's what the latest poll from Christopher Newport's Wasson Center for Politics shows just six days away from the election. Now, the poll has Terry McAuliffe at 49 percent and Glenn Youngkin at 48 percent. But that's within the survey's margin of error, meaning this race is deadlocked. Now, it's a similar story in the race for attorney general. Sitting attorney general Mark Herring narrowly leads Republican Jason Meares. 48% to 47%, with 5% of voters undecided. Political experts say one reason these races are so close is because Republican enthusiasm has surged in October. According to the CNU poll, Republican voters are more enthusiastic about voting in this election than Democratic voters, 80% to 65%. This comes as more money has been raised in this gubernatorial race than any other Virginia election in history. Now, political experts say a lot of this money is coming from out of state organizations. Take a listen. Our politics is nationalized and Virginia and New Jersey, they're the only games in town. So that's where national interests give because they know that the results will be projected onto 2022, whether that's accurate or not. And for that reason, all kinds of national organizations pile into the Virginia elections with money, with ads, and it's just astonishing. Now, early in-person voting ends on Saturday. And remember, you don't need an excuse to vote early anymore. You can go to your local registrar's office or a satellite location if they have one. Rob, Reba? All right. Thanks, Caroline.